This is a short video about advanced pain relief at Withenshaw Hospital Maternity Unit. Though many pain relief strategies are available in the birth centre, advanced pain relief requires admission to the delivery suite and the involvement of an anaesthetist. At present, we offer two advanced pain relief options. These are Remifentanil PCA and Epidural. Remifentanil is a strong, morphine-like painkiller that is administered via a pump into a drip in your vein. The pump is controlled by a button which you can press when you need it, hence the name PCA or Patient Controlled Analgesia. Remifentanil PCA is suitable for most women in labour, although under certain circumstances your team might recommend a different sort of painkiller. In particular, if you've had a morphine-like drug in the last few hours, it is safer to let this wear off before you have a Remifentanil PCA. Because every patient is unique, your anaesthetist will come to discuss the risks and benefits of Remifentanil PCA in your particular case. However, for all women, there is a risk of feeling sleepy or sick, and there is potential for Remifentanil to slow your breathing down so that you might need some extra oxygen. Likewise, baby may be slow to breathe at first. The benefits of a Remifentanil PCA include that it provides effective pain relief for labour, it is quick to establish, reliable and less likely than an epidural to mean that you would need an instrumental delivery. Studies have shown that women who receive Remifentanil PCA are as satisfied with their pain relief in labour as those who receive epidural analgesia. Having a Remifentanil PCA means that baby's heart rate will be monitored continuously, your own heart rate and oxygen levels will also be monitored and a midwife will be with you at all times to keep an eye on these things. A separate drip will be cited by the anaesthetist or the midwife for the purpose of the Remifentanil PCA. All of these measures ensure that Remifentanil PCA is a safe technique for you and for your baby. Your anaesthetist will advise you on the right time to press the button in order to get the best effect from the Remifentanil PCA. We normally advise that patients push the button when they can first start to feel a contraction building. A safety feature of the Remifentanil PCA system is that after each dose, you are locked out for three minutes from administering another dose, even if you were to press the button. A green light will appear on the button to indicate that the next dose is available, as shown on the screen. If the Remifentanil makes you sleepy or slows your breathing down, your midwife might apply some oxygen to your face and ask you to take some deep breaths. This is nothing to be worried about and is done to keep you safe. If the Remifentanil does make you drowsy, you do not need another dose until you are more awake. For this reason, it is very important that only you press the Remifentanil PCA button and that your partner does not do this. Although most women are happy with a Remifentanil PCA for the duration of their labour, having a Remifentanil PCA doesn't prevent you from changing to a different type of analgesia, including an epidural, if it becomes necessary. An epidural is a plastic tube that is inserted into your back, through which local anaesthetic can be given to stop pain from travelling in the nerves that supply your womb and abdomen. An epidural takes approximately 20 minutes to sight and another 20 minutes to work fully. The anaesthetist will talk to you about the benefits and risks of an epidural. The benefits of an epidural include excellent pain relief, minimal adverse effects on mother or baby, the ability for them to be topped up for a caesarean section if this is required, and contrary to popular belief, the ability to move around in the bed and sometimes walk around the room. Commonly occurring risks of an epidural include failure to insert the epidural or failure of the epidural to provide adequate pain relief. Low blood pressure is also relatively common. A severe headache may occur in up to one in a hundred women and having an epidural may slow down the delivery of your baby or make it more likely that you will need an instrumental delivery. Serious but rare risks include nerve damage and infection around the spinal nerves. You will need an intravenous drip, continuous monitoring of baby's heart rate and regular blood pressure measurements while the epidural is in use. It is important to sit in the right position for an epidural. 
This involves pushing the small of your back out towards the anaesthetist and slumping your shoulders forwards. Sometimes we say that this position is like that of an angry cat or a cooked prawn. To make it easier to adopt this position, we sometimes give you a table to lean on or a pillow to hug. You can pretend it's whoever you want it to be. <laughs> All right, I'd like you just to cuddle it for me. Now relax your shoulders. Relax, relax, relax. That's much better. Okay, I'm not doing anything nasty to you, I promise. And then you feel where my hand is here. What I'd like you to do is try and push against me in that slouched position I showed you before. Brilliant, that's wonderful, isn't it? It is vital to maintain the sterility of this procedure. Your anaesthetist will clean your back with an antiseptic solution and wear a gown and gloves and a mask. Okay now, um, I'm just going to put a drape over your back. Now, could you just adopt that position that I showed you before? So relax your shoulders, push your back out, flop your head down. That's absolutely perfect. Well done. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is feel your back fairly firmly. So this is just my fingers. I'm just feeling your back. Your anaesthetist will inject some local anaesthetic to numb the skin so the epidural will be comfortable. Could you just get your shoulders relaxed again for me? Well done. And push your back against my finger. Fantastic. Okay. Now, from now on you should feel a little bit of pushing. Okay? Yeah. Whilst it is easier if you can stay still during the procedure, your anaesthetist and midwife understand that contractions might make this difficult. Simply tell your anaesthetist if you can feel a contraction coming on and they will work with you to make sure that your epidural is done safely. You might feel a little bit of a tingling feeling in your back or down one of your legs. If you do, it's nothing to worry about. Right, you just, I'm just getting the needle out now. Brilliant, well done, well done. Now what we first do first of all with an epidural is give you a little tiny dose down. It's something that we call the test dose. Before the epidural is started, a small test dose of painkilling solution will be given for safety reasons. The test dose is administered slowly and followed by some simple tests. Just, before I give you the, um, the proper dose, the first bit of the proper dose, I just need to check something. Can you just wiggle your toes at me? Fantastic. Just push that toe up and the other toe up. Fine. Well, we're ready to have this dose down, down the tube now. So after you've had this, within about five or ten minutes, you probably will feel as though maybe your contractions are a bit shorter or that the edge is being taken off the each contraction. The perfect working epidural is one where you know you're having a contraction but it's not bothering you. Yeah. So that's what we're aiming for. You should Please. know you're having a <laughs> contraction, but it'll take, say, half an hour or so for this to be fully effective, so don't expect it to work immediately, but you will be noticing some effect within the next few minutes. Your anaesthetist will visit you to make sure that your epidural is working properly. It's been about half an hour now, so is it working? Much better. Much we hope that you found this short video helpful. But please remember that we're always happy to discuss pain relief with you when you arrive or at any time during your labour. For more written information, please take a look at the website at the address displayed on the screen. Thank you.